Dean, you've got no claim. You just want me some back. Money's all you want. Why should I help you? I'm with Clyde now. You tell Clyde about that tout, Donna. And I'll... You'll what? You'll lay a finger on me, Tony. I bet you still think about that night, don't you? Or is your memory fading in your old age? Shut up. Oh, don't worry. We swore we wouldn't tell. And I haven't. Not yet, anyway. Just how you like me. <laughs> it's funny. One slip of my tongue and your wife, your son and your precious football club will all be gone forever. Baby, I shut you up myself then! Yeah, the, uh, new owner. Mrs Connolly, of course. You could show me around, couldn't you? Uh, Ray. Ray? Well, I'd love to, Mrs Connolly, but I can't leave the desk. Go on, Ray. It won't take long. I'd be ever so grateful. In the 65-66 season, this bloke was Archester's best goal scorer, Jimmy Fellows. He scored, whoa, 38 goals, I yeah, think, in this. Yeah, this is all very interesting, but I was hoping to see more sort of behind the scenes, how things work and that. Like what? So you just type the score in on here and it flashes up on the screen over there. That's right, yeah. Um, what about when you need to make an announcement over the tannoy? Oh, this button here that activates the PA system. Oh, can I have a go? Oh, please, just a little one. Just a little one. Okay. Hello, Wembley. It's not working? Yeah, it is. Only you can't hear it in here, you see, it's soundproofed. OK, I've seen enough now. You've been a great guide, Ron. Ray. Yeah. Oh, after you. Oi! In! Going out! Oi! I mean it! Going out! Get in now! It doesn't matter what I do. You're never going to trust me. Damn right. Now, what are you after? It's got to be money. Now that you've lost your millionaire husband, well, you can sod off because you will not get a penny out of us. Forget the waterworks. I've seen it before. <laughs> Cos I don't want your money. You really think I'd be stupid enough to think you'd give me any? You're the last person I'd ask for help. So what do you want? <laughs> I knew the abuse I was going to get off you today. I knew it was going to be hard. But I was prepared to take it. If it meant... If it, if it meant not spending Christmas alone in that stinking caravan <laughs> without anyone caring whether I was alive or dead. <laughs> I'm sorry. But don't blame you for hating me. I should never have come today. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I'll go. <laughs> Tell the others. Wait! Look, this Christmas, I suppose. I know how cold it gets in that caravan. <laughs> Thank you. 